Hello folks, welcome back to No Man's Sand for Survival Challenge. Here we are, we're in March, we're in the late half of March. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was going to say March or go into April. But yeah, anyways, we've been just a little bit busy. But it's gone up to 15.2 million as we sell some milk. I've got another 100,000 years to collect. We have transported milk to our other production facilities. And yeah, for the first bit of episodes, what we're going to be doing is simply go around and sell everything because those pellets, the wood pellets, boy are they extremely profitable. Who would have thought? But yeah, for example, like honey, as we're just getting passively, we got. 25 or so, f no, 23,000 litres. Man, I cannot see this morning, and that is a lot of honey. I've still got plenty of honey in the production facility. And also, what I've gone and done is I've tidied up this area. This did cost me 200 grand because I forgot to sell this, and basically, what I did was I unsold the mod, put the mod back in. And then this time I learned from my mistake and only bought two sacks of pallets and two rolls of twine. Was it twine? Or pallet bags, so that's all being topped up. And yeah, I just want to check. Actually, where is the trick for this? No, not there. Uh, somewhere over here, yeah. So, yeah, wood chips are in. And uh, yeah, I've encountered a glitch. Don't ask me how, I'll just place it down for, yeah, top up with wood chips. And that's enough wood chips for about 10 months, that is. So yeah, we're using just under 12,000 euros a month. So yeah, 10, 12 months. That's going to be enough for the rest of the series because we will be wrapping up this year. And yeah, I haven't done any more wood in that. I am tempted on doing some more wood. But yeah. Let's just have a look of how much we've got. Because this has been going more or less non stop. So, got one pallet bag here for the wood chips. The only thing you have to do manually is that, but you know what? Every couple of hours to do that, I'm fine with. So, in this bag, we've got 120,000 litres. And then over here, 200, 200. Add 200, so that is six, seven hundred and thirty thousand litres of wood chip pellets, or pellets in general. These are technically these are classified as pellets. So if we go down here, look at the cost of what we're going to get. And to be honest, I'm tempted to just wait another month for that, so we can sell a million litres. So. 730,000 litres and I've already turned out the peak price. If anything, we're selling at the worst price at the moment and we're getting two and a half grand per thousand litres. So if that math is correct, that's going to be what? Two and a half million we'll be getting if we sell a million litres of these? God, yeah, yeah, two and a half million just doing the math in my head. Just from pellets. And this is a very rapid production, so you know what? I'm going to do that. Also, we've got eggs and that to do. And yeah, we'll go to the barn. Um, barn, where are you to? There we go, chicken coop. How are we doing for eggs at the moment? So we've got 60,000 litres and... 400 so 460,000 litres of eggs. Everything else we've just been passively just transporting stuff over. Now if you head over here, so we've been transporting pallets over. So yeah, 115 pallets, 56 are belts, some sparkling grape juice, and that, prune grape juice, grapeseed oil, and some. Shoes. So, 
Actually, you know what I'm going to do is lease out another tree harvester. And yeah, we want. Uh, which one was it? We wanted one of these. So, 58 centimeters. No. There we go. We want that one. 120 centimeters. And that's the one you need for the fully grown trees, because 70 centimeters, 80, these ones won't work. So we're going to need this one here, three quarters of a meal, 40 grand, in the grand scheme of things. Actually, you know what? It's not really that much of a problem. Also, I've got to borrow some equipment for the vineyard. As with relations to the recent update to the Liz Colossus pack. But yeah, so let me get some trees cut down, transport it over, and then we'll go into April. Because we can still plant our final crop of oats in April. So yeah, let me get this over, get some trees sorted, and then we're going to be having a huge selling session. And I mean, absolutely. And here we go, we're in April, we're approaching mid-afternoon, and yeah, plans have changed, so initially in this episode I was planning on, you know what, screw it, let's get the fields drilled, because remember, all of this is going to be one big mega field, so initially that was the plan, however, as with many things in life, Plans have changed, so as you can probably tell by the thumbnail and title of the episode, we're going to be setting off all of our produce, and that's things like the sugarcane, sh uh, sugarcane, and just general our production stuff in that because I've gone around, I've topped up some productions in that, including bought some stuff in that, things like for the flower production. So we'll turn those off. So yeah, we've got eggs in, butter and that underway. Transported milk over from the silos. I even had like 200,000 euros in storage for some reason. But anyway, so if we look at the eggs first of all, so that's gone up to 110. So that is 500 or so thousand euros. And I think there is a great demand or was a great demand yep so great demand at Cider's Rich's tent so that is giving us 2100 pounds per thousand liters actually is there a better sell point for the eggs because what was it part of the large chicken coops I think there's something on those lines so Chicken market saw for eggs. If I just place that there for the moment, yeah, that is a better price. So, you know what? Screw it. So, we'll place that down again, and just for the sake of it, we're sending the eggs. Let's go to productions, sell points get that in because that does give us a better price so you know what screw it that's gonna go there so that is what 500,000 liters uh, 1.2 million also bought some more grain for the chickens this time it's barley but yes yeah, so I've got a pan of stones here because I'm gonna put the gold production back on because, yeah, in the last couple of months, sorry if you heard me adjusting the chair there. Yeah, the last few months now, I have not got all being produced just because it wasn't so much a waste of time because it's not a waste of time or anything. It's just we've got too much going on at the moment, and in reality, it's just can't really keep up with selling everything. So, after this big old sell session, Everything is going to be switched to sell, and I mean everything. So, what I'm going to do is use stones and 
Yes, so those zones aren't accepted there. Still going in there, so if you leave that there, that's going to chug on the way. And actually, I do wonder can we put gold in here? I don't think we can because I did try this before, so obviously, except all your basic grains and that and stuff. So going across, red beets and that, parsnip, eggs, got to our production stuff, got the oils, raisins, grapes, and that. Part of the premium and platinum expansion stuff. The paddits, donuts, chips, maple syrup, and premium potatoes, but no gold. So, fair enough. That is fair enough. So, I'm going to put you back on. You're already on. Send to sell. And with the methane or methane production, things like put some sugar because we've got tons of that in we've put a little bit of slurry in obviously the slurry just being transferred over in that and your same thing gets transferred over in that I think and just yeah things like manure itself at the moment we've got like 900,000 litres of manure we've got that we got a 500,000 litres of eggs and that we sold 200,000 litres of milk. Now we've got 5 million litres of sugar... No, sorry. Sugar cane. Oh, it says sugar beet, but sugar cane to sell. And if we go to our sugar production, like... We're going to be ending this series end of the year. So we're in April. January, February, March, April. So we've got 8 months left. Realistically. And we're using... 48,000 litres of sugar beet and sugar cane so even if you give it 10 months that's still enough so that's going to be cracking on we've got set to distribution and just yeah with everything we're doing we're just going to have a big old send session so I think we actually swap you out I'm going to grab this and just because we've got some big trailers I want something a bit smaller so let's see I'm going to think it'll go for a 50 foot one yes envoy that is small but no so I'm thinking go to our trailers is there anything like we could use as a flatbed but a small flatbed like something like the target stuff that'd be nice actually if we go to bell loaders so yeah we can use some trailers and that and i think yeah some of these shores have tension straps so i think that's just what let's go with this base game stuff extensions no we don't need those see so yeah, i'm gonna lease that Yes, it is a swivel axle, and you know how much I hate swivel axle traders, but the end justify the means. So, yeah, like our drills and that, we're going to be sending those because we're going to be using some of the Borgo stuff by Giant Software. And, yeah, so let's double check these do have tension straps, they do. Vineyard stuff we'll do later on, but for now, we need to fill up with some sugar cane first of all. And in terms of stuff that can go into said trainer, I think we have realistically sugar cane. I'll well, keep sugar be cut for now because we can use that ever so often to top up the methane or methane production. As well as like the PG as well, that's a good one as well to have, so let me get this filled up a sec. And then we'll see how much we can get just for the sugar cane. Not including anything else at the moment. So there we go, we've got yeah literally 
just shy of a five million litres of sugar cane. There's the chopper going. Go away, please. So, yeah, we've got, yeah, five millilitres of sugar cane. We've got a million litres of surrey cell. We've got two million litres of digestate cell. And, yeah, just, again, I think just little bits here and there. With the pallets as well. We've got, like, 200,000 years of plants to sell. So yeah, it's going to be a good day for us. So once again, I'm just going to look at the prices. So sugarcane, 383. Prices is at its upper area. So we'll sell those. And then as mentioned, sell the eggs. Dang it, the great demand's gone, but we'll sell it to the market stall get about a million pounds for that. So yeah, let's go and first of all sell the sugar cane. There we go. And we'll see how quickly this takes to empty. Hopefully it doesn't take as long as it did to fill up. Actually, you know what? Actually that is a pretty high discharge rate, so no need to do any jump cuts, and yeah, we was at like 15.5, 15.6 mil. And yeah, we're just going to sell the sugar cane, and then what we'll do is just a little short time lapse of selling everything else. And the reason why we're doing this is simply because just to get rid of stuff, simply put. And as mentioned, once we're done with this, everything's going to be set to sell. Get rid of all these pallets of like these global transport pads because actually how much do we have of those at the moment so if we go to our pallets and I think it's just past these so yeah we've got six owned and seven for seven on these so yeah I'll say we've got a fair bit there yeah just a tad fair bit and uh, fairness for like the uh, what was it? Liquid fertilizers and that, not liquid fertilizer, the digestate. We could just get ten of those and put them in there. Put them in those and sell them. Which is an possibility, but I shall give it a go actually. So yeah. So that's a little bit of sugar cane. And yeah, we're at over seventeen million pounds. Oh, not quite 17 and a half, but so yeah, for that sugar cane, we got 1.9 million. So I'm going to attach this, get 10 of the liquid bags, and see if, if it's a quicker rate to sell the digestive that way compared to doing two tank loads of like the 1 million tankers we typically use. So yeah, we got and got six on, that's as much as was able to get on this. And yeah, I've got no idea of how this is gonna go. Will it just automatically just go in or what? Because yeah, generally I've got no idea of thinking. So, yeah, if I open the help menu. So yeah, like two million leaps we've got here, so and yeah, because of that sell, and perhaps we will do that afterwards, but ah, I've got an idea, so this requires this and purchasing one more of these pallets, so Unreal. Which to be fair, actually I didn't think we need, but because my plan works, which requires looking at to this as it is, because these can hook on straight on. We start filling it with this one, and then at the same time, we offload it to the other pallets, and really should be just like a river flow of it. will flow from one into the other, 
Yeah, I know, is it realistic? Of course not, but that's being this series pretty much is has not been a realistic series, like we just sold what, five minutes of sugar cane pretty much, so auto load is up the front and discharge is up the back, so let me get it set up and then we'll see how this does. Because I am very interested in this, I want to do it with as minimum effort as possible, but I think we've missed the mark on that. In terms of it being minimal effort, but I'm up to try something different, so let's have a look here. So I'm thinking, because the... It's here, I think. So there we go. That is set to fill. And yeah, it's going into here, so... In terms of the fill rate... I'm not sure how this compares. I think it's going to be the same realistically because we're filling up from the BGA itself. So that has a X amount of discharging. So actually, I'm yeah, thinking in hindsight, it would be better just to use the million liter tanker and just do it that way. But anyway, so let's get this filled up. And then we'll get rid of them. So, for the second those, we'll just use the tanker, which does require send slurry. So, let's get all that done. So, that is one million liters of slurry salt, and that led us to 580 grand. And next, let's go and grab the Niger State. So after a another lengthy period of time, we've got 1.2 million years of digestate and just over 800,000 years in the other tanker. So in theory, this should just empty rapidly. I think that is going down. Is it the same or? Like, honestly, I can't really tell the difference there, but... So, yeah, we've got 826,000 litres. And, yep. Let's do one more jump cut. I'll see how much we can get. And then, we'll sell everything else. So, that is one part of it sold. 1.5 mil. And now we'll focus on rest because, yeah, we're having is slight issues with emptying these, but yeah, let's we'll sell the rest and then we'll see how much we get. And we're approaching 20 million pounds. And that is the final bit sold, and yeah, in total, that is another 800,000 pounds. And yep, yeah, we are at a healthy. I'll say very healthy, 20 and a half million. So that's the hard parts done. Now it's simply just get everything loaded up and sold. So what I'll do is I'll sell everything in categories separately. So the eggs will be sold in one go. The pellets will be sold in one go. And yeah, same thing there. And yeah, with these. I am going to sell these, we'll return them to the store, and yeah, if I had to guess where we stand afterwards, I'll say we'll have like another 2 million in the bank account, so yeah, let's get everything sold, and then finally, focus on some farming with the vineyard stuff.
So, alright, we're going to cut this short, and yeah, we have made more than, what, 2 million, I think, in, like, if you look at our finances. So, in terms of income, we earned 69 grand from the milk, 6.7 million from products, and 5.5 million from harvest income, so that is the... I'm guessing that is sugarcane and whatever else. But yeah, so actually we've seen time lapse. I've done like several little clips like it's one of the things I'm trying to go towards in the future is not having just one clip and that just like break it down. Little clips off so you folks know what we're doing or what I'm doing and yeah, so I'm not just jumping the heads with, you know, ooh. Bank, here's another ten million pounds in the bank account. So what we've got attached to the back of this is well perfectly balanced is a mobile cell point. So yeah, we've got so many pallets and that and it can't be auto loaded in that, so yeah, so we've got over a hundred pallets to sell, so I'm thinking rather than just, you know, get everything loaded up and sold We'll just bring the cell point to the pallet, so I haven't used these before, so should be interesting. Also we got the mulcher and cultivator. And yeah, these are the unrealistic well unrealistic working bit from that. I ain't gonna be like fast farming that, do you know, do like a million miles an hour. I'm still gonna do it at a normal speed. That's the thing with with the whole Colossus Harvester Pack. I know not everyone likes it. Fair enough. But it does allow some options for console players that PC players have. It's things like the real speed limit adjustment, like adjust speed limits of working stuff at just an extra couple of miles an hour and that makes a huge difference in terms of getting everything done. And yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Yes, we're using the wide working bit because... Uh, just because I fancied. And there's Wolf, so yeah. We've got several pallets here. Uh, if I just turn our info back on. We've still got another 83 pallets here. So got another 6 here. But yeah, but everything now is set on to sell, so... I haven't really used these before, so... Do I just... Oof. Not drop, drop it like that. So it just kicks off. Uh, just looks like. Looks like we're selling everything. Yep, we are. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to get everything sold. And yeah, so, uh, yeah, it really looks like it's doing its thing. So that is 347 grand. And yeah, just getting the last of these pallets. There we go, just make sure everything gets sold. So yeah, that is the last of the pallets, so... 347, 537, and that's our bits. So it'll be a very so trickle, but yeah, let's see how much we get. Oh, come on, just sell, please. That, and that. Another 25 grand. And for the final six pallets, also, as you may have noticed, I'll start going to sell some stuff and that. Oh, um, it's things like the tankers and that. Just because we don't really need them at the moment. And, yeah, with the whole grape situation, everything's set to sell, so... With the production, so, yeah, we just don't really need any more. But, yeah, so now we're at 28 million pounds. We started this episode on 
like 15 million. We've almost doubled our money in one month. That is something I have never done before, and yeah, I'm actually quite just fascinated by it. But, anyways, that's that. Now, let's start doing the mulching and cultivating. So, I want to unfold the mulcher. So, we want to do here, I think, something like that. So, yeah, there we go. Same we're working with. And uh, so, yeah, we really should be mulching and cultivating at the same time. At least that's how my thinking of this works. So, we can do five vines in a row. Still going to take a while on that. So yeah, we're doing it at 6 miles an hour, so I'm guessing that is the cultivator. Actually, can we use something else? Because otherwise this is going to take a while, because I'm thinking we're hitting the horsepower limit of this. But yeah, cause I can see the mulching, I can see the cultivating being done, so... We've got first strip done. Let's just see everything so. Oh. No, we turn on Moltra now. So, yeah, let's have a look. So, if we go to Mulched. Apparently, that ain't Mulch, so. That's lovely. It's withered, and that, yeah, whatever, but we're looking at needs plowing. So at least we're doing something right, we're doing... Actually, yeah, I want to try the mulching again, so... Yeah, because... We should be mulching, I think, to be honest. So yeah, we can do that at any speed. See, we're mulching the grass, so... Five in here, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So we want to go one more over. See, so yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at the grass now, like the vines. So get rid of plowing. Look at mulching. So yeah, that bit there of mulching is done. So I'm guessing we don't need to mulch. Oh, I don't know. And to be honest. We've got plenty of money as it is, so you know what? Screw the mulching. We'll put you away, and we're going to focus on the cultivating. And hopefully, we should have some horsepower. And I'm going to start off with on the far end. And yeah, I know we're at the end of this seasonal growth harvest planting window for oats. However, we're going to do a bit of a late planting, and I've been assured when we do the late planting of whether it's wheat, barley, or oats, they're going to still be ready in time for harvesting. So, yeah, five vines in that in a row. Okay, can't set a work on that. That sucks. So, yeah, once we get this done. Helps if you turn it on. So yeah, it was a horsepower limit we was hit here, so let's just reduce the speed down to eight or so miles an hour. Stick it in between the vines. Look at the PDA again. So knees plowing. And if everything's worked out. Yep, no plowing required. I guess there are missing bits on the edge, but you know what? That I am fine with, so... Yeah, this shouldn't take us too long, especially compared to doing it normally. And, well, see that. 
Even though, yeah, if we're doing five rows at a time, then why? You still need to focus on where we're going. But yeah, you see the gist of where we're doing this and how we're going, so let's get the rest of this done and stop crushing to the vines. And yeah, I'll see you folks in about half an hour or so by the time we're done with this, I think. Yeah, I think half an hour should be more than enough time to get this all done. Halfway through the pruning, we're just doing the pre prune run. Yeah, let's get rid of these old vines. And then, yeah, these will grow. But yeah, I am looking forward to this growing. And for the final harvest with the grapes now, we've been using the colossal stuff. Just something, yeah, again, as I mentioned earlier on, it's all about fast farming or anything. It's just something with. A bigger capacity than that. Similarly, like with this now, like, yeah, I could do at 25 miles an hour, but I prefer doing it around, say, 8, 9, 10 miles an hour. Yeah, we've missed a couple of little bits, but we're getting like 98% of this, so, like, 8, like, 9. So, yeah, overall, I am not too fussed. Yeah, so I love just doing like the double pruning. It just about works. See that works there. That one not so much. If it was like a little bit wider, you know, the hydraulics, if they were out or able to extend, let's say another point one quarter of a meter. That would be perfect. Or I'll say about point one meter. Because it'll be about 0.2 across the entire width. But yeah, I think after we've done this pass here, I think we'll have a little break, rest up, have something to eat. Resume this later on. I.e. during the next episode, or in between episodes perhaps. But yeah, I think overall we're doing good. Like as mentioned before, we have earned millions in this episode and ignoring the fact this took us seven hours to took me seven hours to get all this done a lot of it is just selling things like look getting everything loaded like yeah seven and a half hours we spent and we've done 310 hours on this map so yeah to be fair may not seem we've done much but 
through the, the backgrounds, behind the scenes. A lot of work has been done. And yeah, I am liking where we stand, so... I'm going to rest up here, have a little break, grab some lunch. And then yeah, we'll get us cracking off in between episodes. So the next time we'll be doing the last bit of the field merging. All that needs to be done now is this little strip here. That needs plowing together. That's connected. Yeah, we're keeping this free, so that is cleared. But perhaps if we maybe clear some of this area over here and make it just a bit more cohesive. I don't know, but anyways, that's what we're going to leave it today. I also forgot to sell this one pallet, but we'll sell that. So yeah, as always, that's what we're going to leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to channel, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, this is me, Farmer Ever Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.